Hey everyone, my name is Heather and I'm going to give a super quick tutorial on how to make homemade oatmeal on your stovetop. Now, I've already gone ahead and begun this process in order to make our video that much quicker um, and more fun for you all to watch. So what you want to do is go ahead and start off with um, getting your water to a boil. And I made myself um, a one individual serving. So that just calls for one cup of water, bring it to a boil, and then you go ahead and add your oatmeal. I chose Coach's Oats. This is my number one favorite. I absolutely love this stuff. 100% whole grain oatmeal. Um, and what you want to do is add a third cup to your boiling water. Then turn your flame down to a medium heat and set a timer for five minutes. So whether it's a timer like I've got on my fridge or ask Siri on your iPhone, whatever it is, set it for five minutes and um, Again, your heat is turned down to a medium. You want to make sure that you're constantly stirring your oatmeal the entire time that it's cooking. So that whole five minutes, you want to make sure that it is being stirred the entire time. And now my oatmeal is done. That was a quick five minutes. Now I'm going to serve it up here in my bowl. I love that it makes just a perfect one serving for, for me. Now, the nice thing about oatmeal is that you can kind of do whatever you'd like, add whatever you'd like. Um, fresh fruit is very popular, nuts, raisins, um, brown sugar is nice, a little splash of milk, some people like a little uh, tab of butter, so whatever you like, go ahead and add. Um, I'm going to do some fresh strawberries that I had cut up. You can do banana, mango, raspberries, blueberries, you name it. Add my nuts, sliced almonds, brown sugar, Raisins, my splash of milk, and if you're feeling it, Nutella, a little soup, a little dollop. This looks great. I love oatmeal. Low in sodium, sticks to your ribs, good all day, healthy, yummy, simple. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.